What do you think about the idea of Christians being exiles in our culture? Biblically speaking, this is a motif. Mm -hmm. It is part of the way we're supposed to see ourselves in the world at all right. times. Right. The way it gets used in American culture in particular um, sometimes rubs me the wrong way. It's like the whole, okay. it's like the, the uh, you know, and I am actually wrote one of the early articles about this. The, you know, older evangelicals tended to see uh, America as Israel and younger evangelicals tend to see America as Babylon. Yeah. Uh, and I, I still think that posture wise, that's been true. But I, I my point, a lot of people took that, co that, that comment and they thought, yes, older Americans are wrong. Younger evangelicals are right. We are in Babylon. We should see ourselves as ex and I was, I was wanting to say, well, we're, we're not, it's, it, America was never Israel, and America even now isn't exactly Babylon. You, mm. you, you, we, have, we have more agency mm -hmm. than Israel did when they yeah. were shipped off to, to Babylon. Like we're right. not Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego at this, at this point. Yeah. Uh, now there is the pressure to bow before the idol, the pinch of incense for Caesar and all. Right. I'm not denying that there's significant challenges for yeah. religious freedom in the public square. But I, I do feel like sometimes when we use the exile language in an American context, it actually undersells some of the power uh, that we do have to steward wisely for the mm. good of not just the church, but for, for society. And so, yes, we should see ourselves as exiles because Peter tells us to. So, but but that, that, that was true even in the America as Israel years for, yeah. for evangelicals as well. So that's, that's where it, I've, I've got challenges with Yeah, that. no, that's a blessing. And it's a blessing that we need to uh, lean into for the good of our neighbor, for the common good of our neighbor. For me, I think what's, what's important to think about is um, we're probably exiles in ways that we don't anticipate, hmm. right? So there are probably ways in which we see our, that we are accommodating to culture that are invisible to us. And that's where things get, um, not scary, but uh, uh, we should be um, concerned and alarmed. Um, so even someone who really identifies with being in exile, who says, we are in Babylon, uh, just burn this place down, there's nothing good here, they are probably accommodating in ways, there's probably always, all of us are probably accommodating in ways that we don't see. And I don't bring that up to make you know, to make people paranoid, but but to calmly and cautiously and discerningly with wisdom in community, ask ourselves, what are some ways in which we are adopting ideas that uh, we should not be? And so uh, one of those that we have both written about is expressive individualism. Right. That that's it's easy to imbibe this idea that we create our own identities that we sustain our own identities that we have this responsibility to it's just that i choose to create an identity that's christian um a certain kind of evangelical right um but what i'm not recognizing is that i get my identity actually from god um and that's where my identity should be grounded so so we're not as different as we think we are that's the trick, yeah. Right. And sometimes I think the, the exile language can obscure, um, can, can be a cop-out where we say, oh, I know that I'm in a, an exile and I'm living in Babylon. And I wanna say, maybe, yeah, you are an exile, but y you probably aren't living like one. Um, and it's probably in ways that are invisible to you. So that, I, I guess this goes back to the, the, the thing we started with was, um, when Peter talks about us being exiles or sojourners, strangers, um, that I that should be deeper than the cultural circumstances that we find ourselves in. Yeah, like that's a deeper I right. identity. It's not something we've just now stumbled into or construct. It's actually a way of being in the world that is going to make us, in all yeah. circumstances, stand out at some level. So the real question is: Are are we standing out as we should, or are we building our identities? in the same way as everyone else to where even yeah. though we think we're standing strong, we're just as worldly as others.